morning guys, Auntie Donna here. Been getting so much messy <laughs> can't say message good in my list of messages about how to do my glaze pigtail. I have a whole heap of video with this one now and I still not go through them. Well for the new people then I got to say we do not oblige, you know. Um how to do the glaze the glaze pigtail and them more in depth. So look now, so look to the pigtail I'm gonna buy. I ask the people them to give me the one and I have on a whole heap of fat. So I'm gonna wash this pigtail. Firstly, first thing first, I'm gonna cut it up. Cut them up into small pieces, wash them, and I'm gonna show them step by step. So I'm gonna watch for wet anti Donado. The first stages are it, I have to clean up the pigtail, wash them. I remember now you're not gonna cut off now of fat because when you boil it and when you're baking it, all the fat going almost almost go away half right. I remember pigtail are fat and bone, so you know really have a lot. To cut off from it so I'm gonna cut these in small pieces and show you guys step by step how to do the glaze pigtail and this is what you can do for your Christmas dinner all right now that I wash the pigtail um, I just go you know me a chat full in another video here now that I cut up the pigtail small and then I just put lemon in it and I'm gonna put some vinegar I want to know the pigtail salt and carry enough salt. So, you squeeze the lime on it and the vinegar to get out any excess around it. And guys, I got just give me the idea here for that pigtail. I never see nobody do it. But if somebody do want grilled pigtail, I mean, they like it. And me come up with the evidence, with the idea and say, I'm going to do something similar to it. But I'm going to do mine in the oven and I saw me get it. And my sauce idea and everything come in uh, in my head and I just do it. So, it can do on the grill too. You know, the first time I get it from it was like a jerk pigtail. But then they do it and it never come out or it come out it with salt. So, me, I me give them the idea so them for boil out the pigtail because them said them they put it for soak. So, me and them the day they attack and I say, look here, it come up in my head. You should have boiled out the pigtail and then boil it out all three, four times to get out the excess salt out of it. So, you know, see? And when you buy pigtail, make sure it's on a pigtail nice and clean and pretty. You know, when a pigtail it I look like it's dead or it look washy washy. You know, see my one fresh? Because when me go up a baby, you know, them can't give me enough full in it. Because a baby me buy all of my meat. They knock your mug out on. I have to buy my meat up at the baby shop because they sell fresh pretty meat. So wash the meat. Let's never pick up yourself. So you wash up your pigtail. I'm going to you, pull on the pads a little bit and wash it proper with my hand. Take off the excess salt, wash it. And now I'm going to drain them off. Go through them little, little. I know pigtail not really carry slime, but when you put the vinegar on it, anything when you put it, come off. So me I teach you know, so anybody wanna learn this today, you know, it's tough. And for me one tough and me learn it. So alright, so let me pause now and take them out and show you know, everything step by step. Why not pause? We get them and look like it wet. Every day I come like it now and pause. Watch out, that now, nah, pause now, nah, pause. My hand wet, I'm going to touch your phone, guys. Sit in pause now. Debbie is a liar today. You know I'm going to show you how to cook it here. It's a video and I want to pause. Anyway, I have to work with my one hand because it's not pause and it's stop it. I'm going to turn off the pipe because I forgot to see everything to the part I don't want to um, show only so. See my one wash nice and clean. Carry it over to my stove. 
All right. And over here, so I have some water boil up. When I have to make it boil, I'm going to just put them in it, make it scall off. Because it has to boil up for boil, to get out the sand. So in doing this, guys, because I want to see my video now. Now I'm no, 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 part. I don't know what to do for one today. So I have to cut and do a part two. I'm going to see the step-by-step -step process I'm going to pick here. This is hot water. You know, hot water scall neat. So the trick in this is I'm going to boil it up for like 20 minutes in a each three different times. Oh, you let me set them good. Burn me. So I'm going to boil up this. Make it boil up, throw it off, throw a fresh one again, boil up, throw a fresh one again, boil up, throw a fresh one. So one of those weird pan the, the parts parts them are the video coming up. Alright. When you come back, the pigtail a boil, a boil, a boil, a boil, me all forgot it. Cause me had those other things one time, phone a ring. I do a million things to the Sunday. So I'm going to turn off the stove and I'm going to carry it to the sink and throw off this water and then put it back to boil. So now I'm going to pour this. Let me see if it can pass now. I'm going to throw it out. So guys, I'm throw the water. Oh, it's steam already. I saw this man in here. So I throw out the water. I never wash them off back out of this and put them on for boil. So I boil them for like three minutes, three times for 20 minutes to get out the excess salt. So this is the second one now. I'm going to throw it out. Because I have to hold it. Oh, it is steam. So I have to hold it. So this water now, I'm going to put it on back for boil and continue for the third period. So now we see as I go along with it. So by the time it finished boiling, you know, guys, it almost cook and pig tail not tough unless a tough pig. So the last boiling I'm gonna do it for ten minutes. But the two first one to get out the excess salt that me do. Boil it for twenty minutes. So I'm gonna set it on back now. So the next time when we see me when I do the whatever to it. See that I here gonna show you guys all that I'll be using into this glaze sauce. Um, you can use your own ingredients if you want, but I'm going to tell you what I will be using. And this sauce that I'm going to be making, you can use it for your ham, for your roast chicken, for anything. It's an all around sauce. You can use for everything. So here is about two to three oranges squeeze, some strawberry jam, some red wine. Ginger, sugar, Maggi all um, chicken, and Maggi all purpose, jerk seasoning, mango chutney, all purpose soy sauce, ketchup, honey, corn starch, I feel like brown, touch it the coil, browning, and barbecue sauce. So you guys know that Auntie Dana does not use measurement. Uh, it need not a measurement girl. They just use little like this, little like that, and um, go through. So I'm gonna go back to the stove now. Let me go back to the stove and show you the picture that has been cooked. Sorry, that is how it looks when it's finished clean and pretty. And this is the pot that I'm gonna be making the sauceing. Don't forget the pressure cooker on my mouth, some pizza pressure. So I'm going to show you step by step how to make this sauce. So welcome back guys. So this is the making of the sauce. First thing first, I'm going to throw some orange juice in the pot. Alright. And that's a piece of the orange seed. Now pay that no mind. Add some red wine. Just for flavor and give it a bit of different taste. You don't want to put that too much. You know how much that I put me just dash in little. And some grounded ginger, beat up ginger, clean and wash. And put it in the ginger go well in your sauce. Alright guys. And I'm gonna tip a pinch of brown in it. It gives it a little bit of colour. The sauce a little browny colour along with some fire sauce. See? 
snow, adding some sugar, adică, o nu am smell this magic all purpose, just stick the cubic in it, I'm going to work with measurement, a little magic chicken, oi, I'm going to put pressure cook on my mouth, pressure some peas, keep out the clean there. And guys, don't stop telling me when I cook, so I must speak spooky, speaky. This is Dana, I cannot change. When I say accept me, I don't accept me. I don't spooky, speaky. I don't start my natural Jamaican patois. And when I say accept me, and everybody with it on my page long time, don't have a problem. See, I could just see them. I don't put it in my nose, you know. As usual, Walker's Wood, and my favorite brand, spicy and nice. Honey, which is a must. Any honey. And you guys can use your own um, flavor, whatever you want to use in any season. Some strawberry jam. Normally, I would use maple syrup, guys. But Auntie Dana doesn't have none. So I just have a little bit of strawberry jam here. I just have put it in there. Because it's supposed to have a sweet fish taste. Anybody who knows how to when they make this at the floor. The original barbecue sauce craft. Yeah, we dash in the clay too. Guys, the sauce starts smell good on it now. Start cooking. Um, ketchup. I basically put in all the ingredients one time and bring it to a boil. Ketchup which is a must. And the most important one of them all, my mango chutney eat and brand. Because I eat me now with the mango chutney. And this is how I get the nice flavor. So I put in two teaspoons. Some want two teaspoons, but I don't need that she night guys. So I'm at my pause because I never bring no water, but my pause and go for the water. So as I see, something come on now guys. It's a boil up right in front of me. So I'm not she look for water. You know this, yeah, you have to have water. And I'm going to stir in everything, combine it together. Guys, that stuff starts to smell good. So what this is going to basically do now is boil. All right, this is the, the ginger. This is the ginger. I'm going to see the big something in the night of printing of the ginger. And remember, I'm going to use no garlic in this. Oh, God, I'm going to put in a little pimento powder. I'm going to take it down out of the cupboard. I'm going to put pimento powder here, though. I'm not supposed to run out of that. That's it, I'm going to use. I'm going to put it Oh yes, Auntie Dana has it. See there? Why am I lift up my head from the cupboard? Lord Jesus, help me. See there guys, pimento powder. Let me open up the mouth and lick a bit of the bag. Mm-hmm. And just dash in the clean eye. See there? Instead I have the big pimento seed in. See there? And we are going to make this boil up now. So guys, I'm going to see when we come back. Now I'm going to make it boil up for about 5 minutes. I turn off the pressure so I can make too much noise. I'm going to allow this to boil up for 5 minutes. Let me speak, I can understand. No, I'm going to allow this to, to boil for 5 minutes. And then you guys will see what it looks like when I get back. Okay guys, in my English voice. So see it there now guys. The sauce a boil up. It's a bubble. A bubble up my name. Granny, it's just a baby lamb and your baby cut last seat there. Smell it. Guys, this are the sauce for the glazed pig tail. I remember on a watch how me one one I put in there. See pig tail in the over there, so I know this guy I put the cup bit of cornstarch, three teaspoon, small teaspoon. I'm just have to add a little water to this. See there? Eh? No mystery. Can starch and water. And this I gotta make it thick. And my know. Exactly as I have to put the pig tail in there. See there? Mm-hmm. Start get thick up. So after I'm gonna do that now guys, I'm gonna set the fire pan up over me. For me. Uh, um we now won't give up no time for boil up so it's gonna get too thick. So Auntie Donner is going to pour in all the pig tail into this glaze. Right? 
and I allow this turn up at my fire turn it up on high and I'm going to allow it to boil up, boil up for about 10 minutes into this glaze and come back and show you what it's going to look like and what's going to be done from there so pause again so remember step by step put it in to boil up that's why I'm doing a video please be quiet so I'm going to allow this to boil up and then when you come back I'm going to show you guys so welcome back guys as you can see the glazed pigtail has been cooking for about 10 minutes in the glaze so Auntie Dana is now going to pour it out into the baking tin so I'm going to want the video reach 10 minutes and then I'm going to pour it out so I'm going to pause and pour it out into the baking tin and come back so now guys welcome back as you can see I've poured all the pigtail into the baking tin and you can see it has surplus sauce because when this bake is going to dry out and get into a thick glazy look so I'm going to place this into the oven I got me not even myself know how long I put it let's say about 20 minutes for starters guys and see I have some excess, excess um, sauce so in case I'm doing it and it get uh, all the sauce dry out I have some to pour back on it so the oven, my name know me have the oven pan 200 with the heat so I'm going to now just add it into my oven Guys, me have to pause and put in this guy to burn me. So you guys see that I've put it into the oven now and I'm going to let this bake for about 20 minutes. Until then I have an hour to get burned in our oven. And then when I come back, you guys will see my glazed pigtail, the finished product. Guys, I'm going to take the pigtail from the oven. Boy, hot like a fire. So until then now, we're gonna take out the glazed pigtail, you see it guys? Look how it's pretty, make me part of this to take it out because I'm not up myself. I've taken out the glazed pigtail from the oven and I'm now gonna plate it for so that you guys will hot like a fire. And this has been in the oven for like 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you see how the glaze or sauce or thick the glaze is. So let me just place it so you guys can see how the sauce looks like all right so let me just take it out and i want to plate it for you guys to see i'm not gonna put all of it in there because i need to take pictures and show you guys how my glaze it looks and it's not burned guys so don't think because you see it like that it's burned up it's just the top the glazing on it so I'm going to take pictures of it and let you all see, Let me see hot this over here, so what the glazed pigtail looks like. So guys, I've taken out the pigtail from the oven and I've put it in the plate as you guys can see. My God, if you want to taste this, I'm just going to put a little garnish over it to take pictures so that you guys can see. And this is some um, dice up skellions to put on it and it's ready and this is how I get my glaze pigtail so you guys see from start to finish and you guys can do this on your Chris for your Christmas menu anything that you want to do it for Sunday just a typical Sunday and let me tell you guys not because it's me cook this if you taste this it's it really tastes good it smells divine and if you are not a pork lover Please scroll past my page and you don't see me I cook pork. Don't ask me how oh, I cook pork and me, I make say I have a vegan cake that have nothing to do with me. I am not a vegan and my oven, when I use it to do whatever, I clean it out and I don't mix vegan things with poor things. So the lady will comment, you just want something for chat because you love chat. When you go buy your food at a restaurant or when you go buy, you know, the people them cook them things when at the oven, you know, just love chat. All right, now let me spoil my video because I'm to them my mouth feel nimble. Because some of just come from the page here. Me having a hectic day and just come in here. So, when I left every other page for social media, but to come from my page, come chat and fast and find all kind of excuse and all kind of degrading coming. But you say to the good Lord, you know me, I don't answer nobody. Welcome to Auntie Dana Go Glaze Pigtail. 
it's delicious you can see my videos from start to finish I know I prepare this I'm sorry if you make me get up in another video here today I have it to my head bless up on yourself guys that's how I did it proper